New Hall Gaming. Game. Survive. Win. What is up the YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. Now, this frost pack is uh, living up to its name. Obviously, it's very cold. The idea here is that we are starting on the frost pack using the lab map. I want to be chucking out an episode soon, by the way, just to show you the different maps and what to expect for those that are interested because you can, uh, using a few commands, I can show the full map when it loads in and you get an idea of what to expect, especially with the lab map because it's very, very large and on the wonk. But you still have to go up, even though technically that's sideways, um, in order to use rockets and stuff. So, as we stand, the idea here is to complete the completion for this series anyway, is the morale one. So I need 12 duplicates, which we already have. I'm not allowed more. Uh, we have to survive 200 cycles or 200 days, which we're at 144. We, sorry, I need to have each duplicate at morale 16 or above, which is pretty high. And then we need to build the monument, which is the giant duplicate statue that is like end game research. That's the most difficult thing, I think, personally. The food wise, or the morale wise, I'm gonna just use food. Uh, I'm not sure yet which one. And the population is already done. The cycles will just happen, you just need to survive. If I lose a duplicate, I'll just replace them. Uh, I am being a bit harsh with the duplicates. I really should probably protect them more with Atmo suits. But at the minute, oxygen is a premium that I'm not willing to throw into Atmo, Atmo suits. Ignore the building melted. That is expected because of the ice temp shift plates, I believe it is. Yeah, and in here, we actually have a bit of an issue. I've got molten mercury, which means that somehow I've managed to build something in there out of cinnabar when I shouldn't have done. Uh, in doing so, it's got too warm, turned into mercury as it does. That mercury then turns into a gas and causes all sorts of problems. This room is supposed to be very hot with the ice in it. The ice melts, turns into water. The water then gets pumped into the base and we use it for everything. If we get a contaminant in here like mercury, it's going to cause problems. So I need to immediately work on fixing that now. And while I was saying that, you obviously saw the jump there in the progress. So I don't want to bog you down with all the crap that I make. None of these items are necessarily anything that anybody's made before. I just throw things together as I go. As I say, I don't like copying other people's builds and using the same thing. So I just kind of invent my own. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Uh, most of the time they don't. But it's just fun. Now I am, of course, now I've got this set up and I've got the hydrogen in there or some hydrogen in there to help with the, the temperature gauge. All of the mercury was taken out. I just um, told it to basically rip out all of the cinnabar. Any cinnabar that was in there would be put into a chest outside of that room. I am then going to put in one Atmo suit only, just one singular, so that one duplicate can go in there. I'm going to need to just put a bit of a floor down here. I'm happy that we've got enough oxygen spare that we can do this. Because the three, from the electrolysis room, we've got three pipes coming into the base to provide it with oxygen. And if I actually show you, which I don't, but uh, looking at them, uh, they are backing up with pressure. So that means that we've got more oxygen than we currently need, which is a good thing. So for the rare occasions that someone's going to have to go in here, uh, they can be safe. This bit there is irrelevant. I'm not going to clean it up. I'm just going to fill it up even more. The idea being then that they go in through the doors, which I'm liable to upgrade those doors, and I will do shortly. Um, install the mod that has the insulated doors. Because these are insulated doors, but they just don't work. Uh, and I cannot handle the, the, the annoyance of that, so I'm going to replace them with the proper ones. Now, as you can see, just jugging on here to jugging on, oh, that's not a word. Attaching on to the already set up oxygen. You can see that the, the vent is blocked because it's at pressure, which means that the base is full of oxygen, no issues. If it becomes an issue, I can, of course, turn this off. But. They're not going to use that much oxygen because the idea is the duplicate is going to get in that suit, go into that room, 
and build a crap ton of ice temp shift plates and then come out. They will melt, turn into water, and then resupply our setup. Going to make one at most. Well, no, probably two, just as a backup. Yes, and then repair Atmosu on infinite so that when that first one is damaged, it will be repaired while the second one continues to work and rinse and repeat. And again, jump in. Uh, I added the mod so these insulated self sealing airlocks actually work and do their job so that the heat now will not just go around the whole base annoyingly like it was doing, which is ridiculous. Um, they were insulated doors, airlocks, right, I think. These will work. The gaps in between are warm. Um, I could cheese it with a bit of uh, these temperature plates, but then I'd have water in there. So you can see it puts on the Atmos suit. Now they are safe to be in this room. And all they have to do is apply the ice to the templates. As soon as they do that, pretty much immediately they will melt, giving us water. The water will then be pumped up by the pump that's already waiting in there. And of course, the process will continue again. One at a time is more than enough. They build these pretty quick. Um, and any of them, as far as I'm aware, they can do it. There you go. The first one is in. It won't take long before that starts happening. Immediately, they pretty much melt. The hydrogen there helping that heat transfer quite rapidly. Them center ones, it looks like they can't reach. I'm going to have to shove a couple of extra ladders in there, I guess, um, to allow them to get to it. Yeah, that'll be fine. Not that one, that's annoying. It don't need to be there. One's enough, thank you. And already the water is there, the pump is going, and we now have our base being stocked up again. When we run out of ice, of course, this won't work as well, but the entire map is ice, so I'm not worried about that as of yet. It is using ice to make the temp shift plates. Unfortunately, you can't make temp shift plates using the snow, but the snow can be just dumped in there and eventually it will melt anyway. When one of those melts, by the way, you get stupid amounts of liquid because there's like 25 tons of ice in one of them singular balls that you can see, which is 25 tiles of water. So you can imagine that all of a sudden just goes pop and the whole room's full. Um, again, though, it's still safe for the uh, the Atmo suit because the pressures, the temperatures, etc., are nowhere near any of the limitations of that. We're going to have to think about what we're going to do with this polluted water. Of course, we're going to need it to be recycled to get the water back. But also, uh, there may be crops that we need it for as well. And speaking of crops, this is where I want to do it. So, basically, below the other farms. So that's no surprise, really. Um, the only problem I'm going to have is that the crops for the food that I'm going to need to grow, we're going to need some heat somewhere. Um, I still don't know exactly what I'm going to be growing. Sleet wheat is a good option um, because it will grow in the climate we're already in. Pincho peppers look like an option as well. Now, actually, pincho peppers and sleet wheat make the bread, the frost bread, I think it's called, which is a morel of 16, and that is the maximum you can get from food, and it's likely, spoiler, what we're going to be moving forward with. I wanted to use the tofu, um, but to make tofu, you need nosh beans, and you can't get nosh beans on this map. I did try using the refresh on the printer to get the nosh beans, um, but never saw them. So they either are not possible to get or very, very rare. The idea is that we're not supposed to be leaving this asteroid other than the orbit for maybe the data disks. So unless I can get them through the printer, they're not going to be on the map. Therefore, I am not going to be able to do it now obviously it could be in the shroud but it's very unlikely looking at the previous times i've used this map you don't get them biomes on the first starter biome for the lab so end game it's going to look like we're going to be doing a couple of farms for the sleet wheat which is, should be reasonably easy to grow um it we it requires decent cold which that shouldn't be an issue and water um, now, of course, water and cold don't 
work very well together. We've got somebody trapped here, so we're going to have to do something about that immediately. They're trapped because they can't dig the floor out because I haven't paid attention with some of these guys and their abilities. So let's just blitz through that, making sure everybody has uh, an ability and they are using it to its full potential. And of course, with that done, everybody can get back to normal. No dramas, nobody died. Um... Yeah, so sleet wheat and pincher peppers make the frost bread, and that is likely what they're going to be in forever to get that morale of 16 for the game completion. The pincher peppers need it to be a minimum of 35 degrees, up to 85 degrees. That is going to be a complication that we'll deal with when we get there. For now, though, I just need to clear out that area. And yes, I'm aware. Again, I've done them three apart, and the pincher peppers need four at the bare minimum uh i will readjust that shortly but for now uh, we'll have to just make sure we do what we do now yes we saw that mercury has got into the system so i'm gonna have to clean this out i've got mercury liquid mercury in the pipes luckily you can mop it up even though it's like that uh, that does work um as long as it's not too much and there isn't much there at all so we can stop that happening, but now we need to empty all the pipes to make sure that the mercury is not in there and break any more toilets, bathrooms, or more importantly, the electrolysis machines, which to be honest, it can't get to them because as you can see, the electrolysis is pulled from the higher up pump and that pump is currently not actually underwater. So we'll get those cleaned out. Uh, I'm probably going to have to give somebody the ability to do that as well, a plumber, but hopefully... Um, that will solve the problem because we can no longer have mercury in there anyway in the room where it came from because I've took all of the cinnabar out of the way. <laughs> Jumping forward a few cycles now. Uh, 10 or so, maybe 14, I don't know. Um, you can see I've done the, the, the setup for the farms, split them out, and you can see the top two rows are sleet wheat, as I said. Uh, they are having to be cooled because they're not quite cold enough but I'm cheesing it with the ethanol that I'm pulling in anyway for the beetroot. There it is. Uh, that is negative 40 degrees or 43.1 to be exact. That then goes through the sleep wheat room with a few, not all, but a few of the pipes to bring that cold in. Of course, that's making some of the water freeze, but we'll deal with it keeping this room cold enough that then the sleet wheat can grow it then goes up and feeds the beetroot stuff as it should then i don't know if you noticed it but the very bottom there's a massive gap but the very bottom double insulated there is the pinch of peppers now we don't actually have many seeds at all and the ones that we do have haven't quite got warm enough yet to start growing so i am working on that currently um, it, it should work. The, the Basically, the heat is being pulled from this room here. So all of the batteries, all of the um, refineries, etc. The carbon dioxide, we've got plenty of, is going through there. And yes, liquid is a lot more efficient than this, but gases was easier. Um, so if this doesn't work, then I will switch it to a liquid. But for now, I'm happy to use the gases because there's just so much carbon dioxide. Um, and you can see the carbon dioxide then takes that heat out of there and hopefully dumps it in this room. We need them to be a minimum of 35, as I've already said, maximum of 85, which the room that it's pulling the heat from doesn't get above 45, 50, I think it is. So obviously it can't get too hot. Uh, we just need to try and get these temperatures in this room raised. Of course, there are many ways of doing this. Uh, and if this doesn't work, the liquid way will work better. But even down to just having some sort of um, smeltery, the what's it called, to make steel. Uh, I've not even tried to build that yet, but that gives off enough heat to make that room where we need it. Kitchen I've upgraded. There's loads of skins, by the way, for the frost pack. I didn't realise. So this is the frost pack cooker skin, and over there on the right hand side is the frost pack grill skin also. Um, so I've used both of them just as a bit of a difference. I do need gas though. So you can see there the pepper bread, sleet wheat and pincho peppers. 16 morale there. Superb quality plus 5 food. Excellent. That is exactly what we need. We have the crops being grown. We just need natural gas to make the cooker work. It's got power. It's got everything it needs. 
All it needs now is the ingredients which are being grown. Uh, sleet wheat, by the way, we've already got a couple of hundred. Pincho peppers, of course, will weigh off. Uh, that slicks to there means that our bathroom is... Well, that's because we've got a old-fashioned toilet in the... Yeah, I need to fix that. I didn't even realise that. It's the first time I've noticed. Uh, I need to upgrade the hospitals to the plumbed bathrooms. They are... That, that should have been a long time ago, my bad. But yeah, so I need to find some natural gas to get that cooker working. You can make it a few different ways. Um... But I'd rather try and find like a geyser or a natural pocket in the map. We will look at exploring. Now, the farms are doing excellent. Ranching is something that we do a lot if you've watched any of my videos before. So no surprise that we have a lot of animals. In fact, there's probably too many there and we need to cull it ever so slightly. They are moaning about being a little bit warm. Honestly, though, it's not stopping them doing anything useful. So I'm going to ignore it for now. Over to the research. We obviously want to be looking at the tier 3 research, which we can do. The tier, re tier 3 research being the radiation thing, the uh, rad bolt stuff. I'm going to go down. Now, this don't last long, so don't pay any attention to it. I like to do it like that, but realistically, I just want to rush the monument. So we can see here that the material study bay, which uses the rad bolts, isn't actually working, and I couldn't figure out why. And I still don't know what I did wrong, so you can tell me, hopefully. When we look into the automations, we can see I've got the green cable coming off that gives a green signal when it's full. Now explain to me why it's giving a green signal when it's 0 out of 100. It's not full. You can see that too, right? My own eyeballs, I can see that it sends a green signal when it's full, and it's not full. So, that's why they're not working. To be honest, I don't care. I can just remove the automation and do it another way, because I'm using the weeds warts, and other than the weeds warts being uh, fertilised, I'm not actually losing any resources per se in just letting the rad bolts be wasted, as long as the rad bolts aren't hitting my people and causing damage. So what I'm actually going to do is increase the amount of rad bolts produced by digging there. Yes, good timing uh, past me. And I'm going to chuck a few more of these weeds warts up to get them together. And I'm also going to chuck in an extra couple of generators and get two of these material bays up and running. Now, it's funny because what, I'm doing all of this and I'm trying to make it more efficient and loads more rad bolts so we can get this third level of research crunched out so that we can push to the monument. But it turns out this isn't the bottleneck. Um, the rad bolts aren't the problem. The problem is the second level of research, which needs the supercomputer, and the fact that I don't have any water. Because I'm not using the piped supercomputer i don't have a pump pinch pump whatever you call it so no one's actually collecting water for it so the level two research is not being done okay so with that up and running we now have additional i ain't got enough seeds to fill it but it will eventually we've now got a power issue but of course we have some rad bolt things are silly in terms of power consumption so I am going to have to go away and sort out some cables. I'm probably just going to rip it all out. And I've got plenty of copper. Um, and put it all back in. I'll give them two lines so that it's way under the 2000 watt limit. And then just put some reflectors in. Now, currently that one that's already in is facing down, as you can see there. Wasted rad bolts are going to be wasted. I know this. It's the point. It's not actually like less efficient because what resource am I using up? I'm gonna, I would be feeding the fertilization to the plants anyway. So what I'm gonna do is actually chuck that in, as you can see to the right there. It will then go down and left. So what will happen is both of the rad bolts now will fly across both of the machines. If one is full, the rad bolt will fly past it into the next one. If they're both full, it will fly into the walls. There's a waste of rad bolts there. I haven't got the research to store it, so there's not much I can do about that. For now, though, that is going to be certainly the step forward. Of course, this isn't the gate anyway. The gate is the second one. I'm going to chuck away now at the end of the episode and get that mod installed so that we have the piped supercomputer in the future. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please click like. Any comments are welcome. As always, until next time, take care. Goodbye.